Hey guys, it's Rob Seabuck with Paperless Humans. Welcome to another episode of this free Apple Reminders course. If you use a list often, you can save it as a template. You can then name your template. and decide whether you want it to include completed reminders. By default, Apple Reminders copies all incomplete reminders to the template. Save your template to the template library. Once your template is saved, you can then use it to create new lists. which you can rename and create. You can also access your templates when creating new lists on the templates tab. To edit the templates in Apple Reminders, go to the inspection icon on the template. You can change the details of tasks. And subtasks. The three dots icon lets you show template info to edit the template name, color, and icon. Create from template creates a new list from the template. Select reminders lets you select multiple tasks for editing. You can add a new section to your template. and even arrange your tasks in the list. You may also want to share your template. Which creates an iCloud link that you can share with others. For templates you're sharing, you can manage link to send that link to others or stop sharing the template. You can also access those features if you're editing your list under the three dots icon. And the last thing you can do with templates in Apple Reminders is delete them. Don't forget to subscribe for more courses and tutorials on different productivity apps. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next episode.